Let us quickly review some of the concepts that we discussed in this demonstration. When we are creating datasets in DHIS2, we should always refer to the reference tool that we are using to collect this data. This will help us understand which level of the health system we are collecting the data, as well as the period of data collection. We always want to translate these elements over to DHIS2. In order to create datasets in DHIS2, we go to Apps, and we can select the dataset application. To add a new data set, we'll click on the plus icon and then define the different fields that are required. At minimum, we always must give the data set a name and define the period of data collection. The category combination field is marked as none by default and we will just leave that as it is for now. We then must select the individual data elements that belong to the dataset that we are creating. Finally, we can select the organization units. We can either do this individually or by using the levels that we have created. We can also take the dataset and divide it into sections. We can do this by clicking on the Actions button beside the dataset and choosing Manage Sections. Within the section management, in order to add a new section, we click on the plus button in the corner. Here we define the section, including its name as well as the data elements that belong to the particular section. Within the section itself, we can define the order of the data elements by using the up and down arrows to move items up and down within the order of the section. This allows us to closely replicate the order of data elements that are on the paper form. There are additional fields in the dataset that we can modify depending on our needs. An example that we reviewed was the open future periods for data entry. This allows us to enter data past the current period. In the example that we looked at, we could enter data five weeks ahead of the current period. This ends this demonstration on dataset creation. Please give the exercise a try and let us know if you have any questions about anything we've discussed through this demonstration. This session also wraps up the module on customization as we have gone through the creation of organization units, data elements, looked at various data collection tools, and created a data set. In the next module, we will move on to reviewing Tracker within DHIS2.